No, the minutes will be fixed. That's, That's just those numbers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Coach. Uh, uh, a huge win. You know, um, just kind of talk about overall the ball game. Uh, I'm just so proud of our guys. Uh, you know, all the adversity that this group and that we have faced in the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, Roy Dell going down and, and all the things that's happened. And, uh, you know, down to nine dress bodies. And, um, I'm just so proud of them. Down 11, going into second half and just found a way to win. And this young man I thought played awesome. Um, you know, we just found a way. And, um, you know, we, we preached about and talked about all the time as a program and as a team that, you know, you can't let yesterday define today. And, um, you know, and I thought that, uh, you know, today we just came out and we just we just willed ourselves a, a win. And uh, I'm just really, to be honest, I'm kind of speechless. I'm just so proud of these kids. Um, with the, the situation you're in with only nine players, uh, you can't have people step up, not yet several step up. Talk about them. Uh, you know, just it was a great team effort. You know, Shamarcus goes out, fouls out. You know, Trey Sleepy comes in, plays huge minutes down the stretch. I thought Will um, was uh, – you know, just phenomenal. I thought that was his best game. And um, I just, you know, I'm, I'm really, really proud of him. Um, you know, I thought a lot of people stepped up. I thought our staff did a great job. I thought we had a good couple of days of prep. Uh, they're a load, you know. Uh, you look at it and they, they shot 48% and 40% um, in, the, in the first half. We slowed down. It's one thing I talked about at halftime was we got to get back to playing at our pace. Um, you know, they're rotating 10, 11 guys in there. And, you know, we had to slow down our pace make them defend us in the half court. And um, and I thought we did that. We had some guys, three guys in particular, Robertson being one, made some plays at the end of regulation that, that set it all up. Uh, shots that, you know, just, just great individual play shots that you probably hadn't seen all year. I thought Will played really well. You know, I thought he was, uh, you know, he found a way to, to get the ball in the basket. You know, they switched the ball screen on the left wing a couple times and uh, we were able, especially at the end, uh, he was able to take advantage of it and take it to the rim. One time he found Trey, um, you know, when they rotated over to double, they found Trey in the corner and he knocked it down. So we kind of played out of that out of that uh, matchup. Um, but again, you know, we're playing out there with four guards and sometimes Will Robinson at the five, at six, five, you know, we're just, you know, we're battling. And um, I'm just, you know, as, as you build this program, um, these are type of moments you would refer back to. Um, these are great moments as you're building a program. Um, you know, uh, with all the adversity that we faced, um, but we keep putting one foot in front of the other, and we're going to continue to do that. In, in that context, m the most satisfying win so far in the context uh, of the adversity? Be honest with you, Rick, uh, it's right, probably. You know, it's uh, it's a big one. I mean, you know, to have seven scholarship guys and, you know, nine nine guys in, in a uniform, um, you know, not having, you know, Roy Dell, who was 20 and 10, um, you know, and, and, and then Shamark is fouling out, going into overtime, and us – and, and, you know, we had a chance to ice it, you know, and TT missed a couple free, missed the front end. And we could have melt, we could have wilted then, um, but we didn't, you know. And, and so we've shown so much growth as a team, which obviously is showing growth as a program um, for us to, you know, not get down. You know, you get down 11 and you don't quit. You lose Shamarcus, you don't quit. You have a chance to win the game, you don't quit. Um, and that's, that's the biggest thing we've talked about since I've been here is just, is competing and putting one foot in front of the other every day, um, and this team has done that. Trey, um, you knocked down some big shots, but you also you know, you had a great vision for the court, five assists. Just talk about your role when you were in there. Uh, I just went in today, just did what my coach asked me to do, and that's play hard and play high, you know how to play. And everybody on the team just trusted me to make big plays throughout the stretch, and that's what I did. Trey, it seems like you also. I get you can't really, there's no stat for it, but you bring an energy when you're on the court, kind of a, just an extra emotion. Uh, you know, just what bring, what 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 makes you bring that on the court? Uh, I just like to play the game. I love the game, and I have a heart and desire to just play hard, and that's, that's what I'm capable of doing, so that's what I bring every game. Coach, uh, I know you mentioned slowing the game down in the second half, but also, I mean, you allowed 45 points in the first half and then 30 in the second half in overtime. I guess, was there anything else that you did to take to slow them down offensively? You know, I think we got quality shots. And when, we, when you take quality shots, you always have better floor balance defensively. And we talked about that at halftime. Is I thought we played too fast. We kind of got into how they wanted to play. Um, which was advantageous for them because they got more depth and they're, they're you know they're playing faster. 
I thought we were able to slow down, get more quality shots. We got more shots in the last 10 seconds of the shot clock, which allowed us to have better floor balance. Um, but I will just say this about Sleepy too, you know, he brings it every day. Um, you know, he, you know, I've always said that there's two types of people. There's energy takers and there's energy givers, and he's an energy giver. And he brings it every day. Um, he's a big part of this team. He's a big part of this program um, because of the energy. And the, and the neat thing for me is you can coach him. You can coach him really hard. Uh, and he just keeps coming back, you know, and uh, I'm proud of him. He's, he's going to have a great career. What about Jared? <laughs> Ten defensive rebounds. And I mean, a lot of them were right there on, on the goal, too. When there was a lot of three point bounce house to them. Just yeah. talk about that a little bit. I thought this was Jared's best game since, uh, since I've been here. Um, I thought he played really well. Um, you know, I, I told him at halftime that he really needed to control the game. Um, you know, really tried to empower him to control the game. I thought he did that. Um, you know, they, they always sent their point guard back, um, obviously for defensive, um, you know, balance for themselves. So he kind of was able to, a lot of times, especially the second half when we went, when we, we didn't, we were, <coughs> he was matched. Um, he was able to get in there and, and do a good job of cleaning rebounds up that a lot of other guys were blocking out. Um, but I thought Jaron played phenomenal. Um, I really did. And I think he has been assured this year, uh, and then he steps up, what, six or seven at the line to, to win yeah. the game. The it, it was huge. You know, that, that's what you want your, your, let alone your players, but it's really what you want your seniors to do is be able to step up and, and knock down free throws. Um, you know, I thought uh, him coming down the stretch was just absolutely huge. And he played really well, played within himself, ran, you know, ran the basketball team. Um, you know, I, I can't say enough good things about him. I thought he was phenomenal tonight. Trey, uh, can you, I guess, just give me a little bit of your journey? I mean, you know, you come here as a walk-on, so, you know, you probably didn't have the, the looks that you wanted coming out of high school. And now it's gone from that to your working as a scout team guy and get a little bit of playing time and, you know, you get your red shirt pulled and I forget which game. And now you're contributing all the way, getting 29 minutes. Just what's this journey been like for you this season? Uh, it's been a blast. Fun and, like, even I'll be down sometimes, but coach always tell me, stay ready, stay ready. And I just really just allow myself to stay ready and just continue to work hard. And coach, can you kind of, I guess, just expound on just his journey from your, your point of view? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, he, it's, it's a young man that we wanted in the program. Um, you know, him and his family came over and, um, and walked around, uh, did an unofficial visit, and um, really excited to have him. You know, he's a young man that is going to be a big part of our program moving forward. Um, I think he has a lot of great leadership qualities. Um, again, he's an energy giver. Um, you know, he's got a, got a nickname in the summer, Sleepy, because I caught him sleeping one time <laughs> home, uh, in the summer. So that's kind of stuck. Um, but... Uh, He's just, you know, he, he exemplifies what we're really trying to do here. Um, you know, he stays ready, and he's a great young man. You know, he's about his business. He's about team. He puts the team first. Um, I'm just I'm just really happy to have him here, and uh, he's going to be a big part of this program moving forward. Coach, 46 rebounds. I know that's something that you harp on day in and day out. But I felt like down the stretch, I felt like you guys got every single one. I mean, how, how big was rebounding in this game? It was huge. You know, I mean, for us, I mean, we're, we're out there sometimes with everyone six, four and under. Um, but we, we did a great job of keeping body on body. Um, you know, we tried to stay out of rotation, Taylor, and that's when we were able to stay out of rotation. We knew we were going to give up some mismatches, but we thought we could be able to control the glass that way. Um, you know, and, and, and we did. I thought Trey did a heck of a job. Jaron. We did a really good job of blocking out. We work, I mean, he'll tell you, we, we do it every day. It's the first thing we do every day is, you know, we, we hit each other and block out. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll do it tomorrow. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Congratulations.